before I made my film Auto, I was getting really pissed off at all these zombie movies that kind of treat zombies really badly, like they're they're killed for sport, like people are really mean to them, and they're treated like homeless, like wor worthless homeless people, and it seemed like a, a metaphor for just the way people treat um, underprivileged <laughs> classes, or you know, like it seemed obvious that it, it was kind of a nasty kind of um, pleasure that people got from from killing them. So I thought, oh well, maybe we should make start making zombies a little more a little more human, so that uh, they can be have personalities of their own and maybe memories of their own, maybe feelings, and uh, and then maybe they can even start getting some revenge on people or, you know. It's kind of like a, almost like a, a dead superhero in a way. So he has the ability to, through sexual contact, he can um, bring people back to life. Not as zombies, but as, uh, as resurrected human beings. So, um, uh, that's his, his gift to humanity. <laughs> For this movie, I was very kind of, uh, I just had a very loose concept and I didn't, I wasn't even thinking about it too theoretically or anything. And I didn't have, I didn't even have a script. I had a three page outline. So, uh, I work kind of intuitively, and but then now people are giving me all their interpretations of what what I was doing. And um, one journalist was just saying, you know, it's like this idea of AIDS and 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 gay sex. You know, it became it was kind of this. Um, people became very paranoid about about gays and about you know uh, disease and, and whatnot. And so this is it's kind of a reversal of that kind of um, that that prejudice where instead of gay sex um, bringing death it, it, it restores life you know like all my movies uh, a lot of stuff depends on kind of just chance and circumstance um, coincidences and uh, you know I'm a bit of an availabist like my friend Kemba Fowler in New York which means you just do your art using whatever is available to you or whatever whatever falls in your lap you just incorporate it into the movie it, it kind of frees you from too much um, sometimes I think people overthink things and so they're you know everything is meticulously predetermined and, and there's no spontaneity and I mean when we were shooting this movie in LA um, it was just kind of there was a lot of weird coincidences that happened like uh, it, it the, the monster uh, the creature the alien zombie keeps on changing color and we did that on purpose because we wanted to make him sort of like a chameleon um, but it, in strange ways he, he the colors he was wearing kept on corresponding to the the locations we were in even though it wasn't really planned uh, like at the and when he's in the graveyard, he's the exact same color as the as the gravestones, and so there was kind of a weird magic going on. <laughs> we did all the special effects like uh, in front of the camera, like there was absolutely no digital effects, and um, because I was kind of wanting to do it in the old school kind of style of B movie make filmmaking, you know. Um, exploitation films. And I, I think there's less of a, a, a incompatibility between uh, art and exploitation than there is between you know mainstream Hollywood and art. You know, exploitation films can be very ar artistic and, and kind of experimental and, and bizarre and kind of uh, uh, transgressive, where, whereas uh, in Hollywood, it's 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 like a more of a corporate uh, entertainment that that has maybe less uh, in common with ideas of like high art or so. Tonight, 
my dream is to make another, to finish the trilogy and make uh, Detroit Zombie, because uh, I've always wanted to shoot a movie in D Detroit. And actually, I want I want to make a a more conventional zombie movie in a way, because I you know I feel like I've done the kind of like art zombie thing <laughs> now, and and now I want to try to maybe make something a little more uh, strictly. Um, uh, more that that falls more strictly within the conventions of of the zombie genre, you know. There's definitely Canadian zombies. We have a lot in Parliament. Um, our prime minister is a zombie, in fact. 